Hi there, welcome to a new video. Um, so this week, we're going to talk about the 80s. You grew up in the 80s and you'll remember this, and this, and this, oh, and this. Um, well, what you might not remember is this. Now, this is Teletext. Now, Teletext is sort of a... A sort of rudimentary sort of internet of the day um, it was a, a, like a hidden layer of images and text uh, that was beamed as part of a TV signal so if you had a compatible TV using your remote control you could activate teletext and access extra pages of like sports results weather news it would do subtitles um, and and yeah, it was, it was quite fun. I mean, it was fairly slow. The graphics are rudimentary and not many colours. But to be honest, that's what a lot of video games were like back in the day. Now, my experience with Teletext is twofold. Now, first up, during my school days, uh, instead of doing woodwork, my school decided that instead of teaching us how to plane wood or, or hammer nails, they instead would teach us how to make view data pages on a BBC Micro. Why? Beyond me, but that's what we did. The second thing is, as a child of the 80s, I remember uh, turning on Teletext and going to um, the quizzes. There was a quiz on there called Bamboozled. And uh, also going over to Digitizer, which is where all the cool kids went. Uh, they had video game reviews and also a comic, Turn of the Worm. Now most of the graphics of this stuff was done by Paul Rose, also known as Mr. Biffo. Um, he's kind of very synonymous with the creation of sort of really great looking Teletext pages. He's also a screenwriter. Um, I think he's done some TV work for children's TV. Anyway, that's beside the point. Anyway, back in 2012, uh, the analog signal was sort of switched off here in the UK and Teletext sort of disappeared. To be presumably to be forgotten, but I was wrong. In a few years, I found out that there was actually still quite an active scene of people who were big fans of Teletext, and there were people who were taking videos of Teletext pages and, and, and extracting the data from it, so taking it back into the computer code, and people making their own Teletext interpreters, and uh, people trying to make. make just make art with it and so I started making art in Teletext and here's some samples of some of the art that I've made with Teletext. So where's all this going I hear you ask? Well about a year ago I was approached to contribute to a Teletext comic strip, a fan comic of Turn of the Worm and the story is called Turn 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 and I did a whole bunch of different panels for this comic and uh, about three weeks ago um, the video of it went up. It's apparently it went to something called Flash Party 2022, and we won third place in the animation category for that. Um, apparently, Mr. Biffo himself has seen it and gave it his thumbs up. So this is very, very cool. Um, if you want to watch this, this is a comic. Uh, it's more of an animatic, so the, each panel is a, a full screen. Um, if you want to watch it, the link is in the show notes, and I uh, hope you enjoy it. I'll say this is a short video this week, I just wanted to share this one with you. I uh, thought you might like it, I thought you might find it interesting. If you do, like, comment, share, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Uh, we'll see you in the next video, um, and take care everyone. Alright, bye now.